We're just outside of Williamsport. There's a little breeze kicking up here and there, but it is an absolutely gorgeous day. And we are in search of a beautiful old, well over a hundred years old, I would say about 150 years old, stone arch bridge. We are by the watershed. Uh, right now we're on the Bluebird Trail, but we're gonna be on the Schoolhouse Trail in just a minute. Look at that behind me, isn't that great? Hope you're not getting too much wind there. Let's go hike. Sun is peeking out here and there, which is okay. Temperature is absolutely gorgeous, 58 degrees. Nice little crunch, the rocks under my feet. Hear the birds? Oh, everything's starting to turn green. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Maybe you can tell me what this is. Because I'm not sure. Somebody just put it here? Is there a meaning behind it? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, let's continue on. There used to be a schoolhouse here. Um, and you can't go back there. It's just, they don't want you to, there's some kind of habitat they don't want you to uh, ruin. And so I'm not going to go back there. I'll respect that. But here's information about the schoolhouse. It served two dozen or so families from 1872 to 1925. Okay, you can pause the video here if you want to read the whole thing. I'm going to continue on my way. Thank you. Okay, what in the world is this little sign? Eastern Hemlock. Big strong tree. Well, I know we're on the right way. <laughs> I don't know if I want to follow that trail or not. What do you think? Looks a little steep. <laughs> Let's keep on walking. I can't help but wonder, is this a path? I don't see any markings. But they have this nice little bridge over the water alongside the trail. Hmm. It looks like it's used, but that's not what we're looking for today. Let's just continue. <clears throat> yeah, here comes the wind. But we made it to the stone bridge. Let's check this out just a bit. Let's walk over it first. <sighs> I will say this much. Absolutely gorgeous day. Absolutely gorgeous. So look at that stonework. Oh my gosh. Look at that. They really did good work back then. Really did good work. We got little flowers coming out. Some dandelions. Whoops. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. 
That is really, really nice. Those stones, those are big stones too. I thought it was gonna be a little different, smaller stones. Mm -mm. I could just sit here by the bridge, have a snack and listen to that water all day. How about you? And a nice little ripple coming down here. I don't see any fish in there. I don't even see any minnows in there. Can't see anything. Now it gets deeper under the bridge. Looks like it's at least knee deep for me. At least, well, over here, it was almost knee deep. We did have a little rain the other day, so. Okay, let's go down the other side now. Let's see what kind of view we get from here. Oh, that's great. Ah, uh, that's more than knee deep for me. I would say that's almost hip deep. Glad they didn't go in there. <laughs> Great bridge. Gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. Thanks for coming. That was a great walk. Totally enjoyed it. And that bridge is just amazing. It's gorgeous. Can you see it? I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for coming. Uh, I think I already said that. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Here comes somebody going to go over the bridge. On their bike. On their bicycle. There we go. Hmm. I bet you thought that was the end of the video. No, actually, uh, there was a woman behind the man on the bicycle, and they stopped and we chatted for a second, and he told me about a nice little hidden gem on another trail here, one that I haven't been to yet. So, next time I'm out in this area, I will definitely take you on that path and show you that beauty of a little hidden gem. See you soon. Peace, baby.